Hello. Good afternoon. I send you a warm greeting now again from our studio in the city of Mar del Plata. Soon I will obviously return to Asuncion in a couple of days. Today, although it is a beautiful day, as you can see, the sky is perfectly clear. The sea is very blue. But well, it is still cool. So we are going to return quickly to Asuncion to take in that. That heat of the climate and that human warmth that all the wonderful people of Paraguay give us. Well, this is also going to be a compliment to the last video that if you are watching it on YouTube, I am going to leave it here and continue delving a little deeper into what is coming in Paraguay's economy. And then, yes, we are going to do an analysis, because there is a frequently asked question. Generally, the majority, even of the clients who contact me, ask me what? What can we invest in in Paraguay? Well, but before going to that specific topic, let's talk a little more about the economy and general issues. Well, as you know, this new cabinet that just took office just a few days ago and what we have, the tranquility that continues to be a purely liberal cabinet that has already promised and has committed not to make any negative modifications for the investor. In other words, it will harm the investor, but quite the opposite. They already promised that there will not be a tax increase, which was something that was somewhat resentful. Well, that is assured and one of the very important changes that I wanted to tell you about is what until now was the Ministry of Finance of Paraguay becomes the Ministry of Economy. What does this mean? That it is going to be a much broader ministry, with many more powers, with many more capabilities. If we make an analogy, with professions, we could say that the Ministry of Finance would be an accountant, versus the Ministry of Economy, an economist. So, from the Ministry of Economy it will truly be possible to plan state economic policies directed in accordance with the interests of the country. So, well, some of these interests. Well, Another of the characteristics is going to be a unification of the collection entities. This for those of us who are from Argentina. Let's get the chip out of Argentina. It's not going to be a method like what would happen in Argentina, which is already happening as a way to fleece and extort, or as a way to get one more peso from the taxpayer. No. This is designed so that a large part of Paraguay's economy, which is still informal, becomes formal. Let's think about something within Paraguay's economy. Mortgages represent nothing more than 2.3% of its GDP. In other words, although, as I always say in my videos, Paraguay has a mortgage market that is vastly superior to that of Argentina, which Argentina does not have. It is relatively small when we compare it only with Brazil, sorry, with Chile, which represents 23% of its GDP then, and. That is because although there are many people who access the mortgage market, there are many others, including the majority, who, although economically they could access a mortgage loan for their housing, do not have the credit profile that banks require to be able to grant these loans. So this, this unification of the collection entities is going to allow that broad segment of the population to access the mortgage market. Obviously, to that is going to be added what here in Argentina is known as the SGR, the Mutual Guarantee Companies, which are those entities generally composed of several, several companies, both in the public sector and in the private sector which guarantee banks that in the event of a default by the borrower, they respond. So that causes the banks to grant a much larger amount of credit and in turn the interest rate is reduced, because of the risk. 
it does not depend so much on the borrower, but on the person who guarantees it, on these companies. And they are more than companies, they are guarantee funds. That seems to me to be important. So, look at how much there is left to grow in a market that already has mortgages, but that only represents 2.3 of the GDP, in the worst case scenario. And why not get over it? It will reach the Chilean market, which represents 23%. Good. What else do I have to tell you? Well, this information complements, as I told you, the first video of what the assumption was like and the speeches that the president had at the central bank, in the central bank auditorium and later at the Getulio Vargas Foundation. Well, now, the constant question is what to invest in in Paraguay. Well, and that's what I always answer to my clients. First you have to define, what type of investor are you? What type of investment would you like to make? Clearly it is not the same as what a purely financial investor feels who exclusively wants to contribute money and for this money to generate an income on a monthly or quarterly basis. It is not the same that apart from that investment generating an income, you can wait a while for your investment to be recapitalized, to be revalued, and completely different is that person who can make an investment, but also provide certain value. Those people who have specific know-how in the creation of whatever is manufacturing, production, elaboration of any product. Hey, and this is always the example. If you are producing product X, service X in Argentina, well, you will be able to do the same thing in Paraguay, but much easier. The characteristic of this wonderful economy and this business climate in Paraguay is that the entrepreneur can dedicate himself to what he likes, that is, to his business, to the core of his main business and not to the whole day. Having to be like the Chinese jugglers, saving, saving the symbols and with the symbols in the air. But, that is, addressing the situation. Solving the problems that the state is the one that permanently poses to them. Here, obviously, like every businessman, there will always be conflicts to resolve, problems to be solved. But here the mind can be much more, almost 90% calmer and with the precise objective of generating business, creating wealth for society, increase, give, create value for the entire society as a whole. Well, well, once you have defined what type of investment you want to make or what type of investor you are, whether purely financial or someone who is going to add value to the investment. Let us also remember in this case that Paraguay has a regime that is not unique in the world, but at least in the region is incomparable, which is the Maquila regime. You can apply the Maquila regime to both products and services. That is any company that imports products or services, whether extra-zone or intra-zone, adds value. It may be re-exporting that product or service with a single and exclusive tax that is 1%. Exemption from corporate income. Personal income. VAT a single and exclusive. 1% tax. So in Paraguay it becomes very very interesting for those companies that, by importing some input, product or service, add value to export it to any part of the world. So, well, now that you have defined the type of investor you are, what you have to know is what risk aversion you have. The higher the risk, the higher the rate of return. Hmm. And what Paraguay offers us is a rare bird worldwide. It offers us very interesting rates of return, with a very low risk. For example, that is clearly in the real estate market. Well, today we have a portfolio for the investor who wants to make an investment today and the next day, after that investment, be receiving an income. We have options that are yielding up to 
nothing more than the interest that is paid on that investment. If we add to that being within the real estate market in options that are going to begin construction, you can add 10% more value due to land revaluation, which is when one analyzes the value of the land over the last 20 years. Nothing else without putting anything on the real estate. The value. The average revaluation of land in Paraguay has been 10%. Then you could be having between what is paid in interest, plus the revaluation of the capital at a minimum. Pessimistic scenario 20 to 125% return on investment annually. So I think they are options and always on land. That is, on a property that is going to be built on a lot. Apartments that are in a well. Very interesting options that if you are interested, we continue. Send me an email or get in touch. Contact me. Through WhatsApp and I'll let you know what it's about. Another option for those people who are interested in a little more return. But obviously with a little more risk, is the stock market. The stock market, as I always say about Paraguay, is not very developed, but there are some options that could be interesting. For example, they are corporate bonds, as we call them negotiable obligations here. It is debt that companies put on the market so that individuals or other companies can take it and they finance themselves with it, with that debt and some numbers that are offering the return that some companies are offering in local currency. Today they are offering up to 15% return and in dollars up to 10% return on investment. So obviously it always exists. You have to evaluate. That is why the function that we fulfill both in real estate investments on all types of properties, from countries that are about to build apartments in well, sustainable homes for the working middle class of Paraguay, as well as these investments that have a little higher risk. That's what we are for. To do the analysis so that you can confidently trust that you are not going to fall into a scam, a scam or be harmed. But well, in that case there is already greater risk in the stock market, not to mention variable income, and then variable income. The few companies that are listed on the stock market, as I said in the previous video, here we have to prepare, be psyched so that when Paraguay has the investment grade certificate, this is something that is going to come out. It is not something that will probably go out when Paraguay has issued its national debt, that is. With national bonds to finance itself in the foreign market, in the international markets, the rate that they buy, that they offer to Paraguay for that debt is exactly the rate that of the countries that they already have the investment grade seal. That is, if the market is already paying that rate, even if it does not have the seal, when it has the seal or the rate will be reduced. But the most interesting thing is that all the large investment funds are going to begin to fall. As I say, that is going to be a change in the economy but an absolute change in the economy of Paraguay. The companies that are already listed on the stock market are going to rise exponentially, which are very few. So those funds, no matter how little, no matter how little they buy, are funds that manage billions of dollars, so no matter how little they buy, they are going to make prices skyrocket and obviously the greatest supply there is and what are these big ones for? Funds can invest as in the real estate market. It is in the land of Paraguay that apart from something else, unlike other markets that subsist on leverage, here what Paraguay offers us is a high demand. That is, that price that corresponds to a high demand is going to be that the values of all the properties, the bare properties and much more. 
what is being built can be multiplied by 2 or for 3. So as always, well, I hope this information is useful to you, that I have been as concise as possible, that I have been understood. And well, as always, we are at your disposal not only for this type of investments, but for everything that is soft landing in Paraguay. Let's remember this phrase that the great Spanish businessman Belarmino Fernandez Lawrences told me when I had the honor of meeting him. The fate of the foreign investor depends on who receives him at the airport. You have to know that although Paraguay has a great business climate, by receiving so much foreign investment, I myself am offered the most varied and even the most unlikely business proposals. So you have to watch your back. That's what we are for, to analyze the projects and what we offer as previously analyzed. Then there are many very interesting proposals that we can analyze together or we can analyze them for you, so that you can invest with confidence, with security in Paraguay. That's what we are here for, to serve you, to watch your back so that together we can do great business over time. In this wonderful nation that I call Paraguay, land of opportunities and freedom. Well, we're seeing each other. Bye-bye.